One day I was driving in Cody, Wyoming, and I was sitting at a stop sign, and these adorable little trailers went flying through the intersection. So I decided to chase them down and see what they were, and got to a campground, and it was a sister's group. And I went home and signed up. Deborah Nordberg, sister 1878. I'm Pamela sister number 2475. Jane Pratt, sister number 1387. Nicole Cassidy, sister number 5578. We are sisters on the fly. Sisters on the Fly is the largest women's only outdoor adventure group in the country. We have 6,500 members and growing. We get women outdoors and we get them into activities that they normally wouldn't try. We push them in, out of their comfort zone a little bit and give them a safe environment to try these incredible events and know that they have immediate friends that are gonna rally around them and cheer them on. 16 years ago, Maury Sussman was on a fishing trip with her son, Austin Louder. It was Sea and Stream Outfitting. Maury went out, had a blast, called her sister Becky up on the phone and said, you need to get out here, come fishing with me. The two of them got out on the water and they caught a trout for the record books, an eight pound trout, and they were so excited and thrilled that they had to share their excitement and, and, and enthusiasm. So they decided to uh, invite their friends along. And from there, it just spiraled into this really great movement where they, they felt selfish just keeping it to their own closed group. They wanted to invite other women out to just um, get a sense of the adventure and to be a part of, of the fun. And from there, Sisters on the Fly was born. Well, the sisters have pretty simple rules. They are no men, no kids, and be nice. We can all do that. I think the rules are intended to help women enjoy being outdoors and being with other women just for the camaraderie of the environment that they're in. They're there so that you can actually have that experience of outdoor adventure with other women. The Sisters on the Fly organized a rally in uh, the Bitterroot Mountains to support the Casting for Recovery fishing tournament, Cast One for Hope, and they opened the event up to sisters to come and camp and or fish, and I had never been to the Bitterroot Mountains, and I made the trip from Saratoga to come up and be with the ladies and to support Casting for Recovery. To date, we've raised over $200,000 to Casting for Recovery, and then we're just here together for as a sisterhood to enjoy on the weekend's festivities and kind of um, remind us all again why we do raise so much uh, forecasting for recovery and, and it just drives home the whole mission this week and kind of puts a perspective on all of that. The kickoff party takes place on Friday evening and the whole purpose of the kickoff is to bring everybody together, um, introduce new faces to one another and, and get acquainted with people you may be fishing with, people um, you're going to see on Saturday night at the dinner, um, or old friends that you haven't seen since maybe last year's events. I was just telling her though that she should give herself permission to get away and go focus on her and just let loose and have fun for the weekends with the yeah, with the sisters. Look out, she's kind of scary sometimes. Hey, you have not met many of the members then. Oh. <laughs> no, we do have women of all walks of life though, and it's fun to see them let loose and just kind of let their hair down and relax. You trailer them? Mm -hmm. I have a 1956 travel ease. Oh, nice. <laughs> we knew of this great Cast One for Hope event that they put on but we really didn't have a sister on the fly spin on it yet. The trailer tour is something unique that Sisters on the Fly has done for a long time. The significance of it is we can bring people into our world and introduce them to what, what appeals so much to us with the vintage trailers and why we put all the time and energy and, and hard work into our trailers. They're really our labors of love. So we get to welcome those people into our world and show them what we've done and at the same time benefit a really great cause. What drew me to Sisters on the Fly was the vintage trailers. My trailer that I have here is a 1954 Cruiser. I've just had it 
just a year uh, and it's almost complete. I have the paint to paint the outside. I have some interior work I still need to do. All of the sisters try to personalize their trailers to reflect their personalities. And I am just a laid back surfer girl. When, when I take her out and whether it's a river or a lake, I'm home in my surf shack, smelling the ocean. We have avid fisher women. We have people that like cats and ladybugs and you know, just whatever makes us smile. And everybody who comes and looks at our trailers knows a little bit about us without having to ask. I think the reason why it's spiraled into this big identity of Sisters on the Fly is because they are so fun, they're catchy. I mean, you, you would think that a professional basketball team is visiting a small town. When you pull through with a caravan, the entire town turns out. And word spreads, word of mouth. They call up Bonnie Sue, they call up Floyd. They get everybody down there to check out these vintage trailers that just pass through town. And, and I think it's just, they have such excitement and enthusiasm for their own trailer and they put a lot of, it, they really are a labor of love. And so to see it on other people's faces when they get to see them come through town, it just kind of, it just, it's a movement. It really did just kind of take on its own life. And, and now today, that's a big identity for sisters. On Saturday, we attended the Apple Days down in Hamilton, Montana. The Apple Days were just a wonderful event. There were vendors, probably 150 vendors. You could taste apple cider, you could buy apple pie, you could buy beautiful vegetables that were grown here in the Bitterroot Valley. And there was a trailer that was being auctioned off. My name is Devery Willis, sister number 2903. Sisters on the Fly is here to show off a vintage travel trailer that was donated to raffle off as a fundraiser. So go in and let's right. take a look. The appliances are all original. Wow. It's adorable. It's had a little bit of structural work done and we've done a little bit of decorating to it, but it's basically an original trailer. Really cute old is in, so everybody's really excited to see something that was so untouched looks like, and you can just really kind of sit inside and picture um, a simpler time, and I think that really takes people back to um, their childhood or when they used to go with grandma and grandpa. It's, it's just fun. What'd you think? It's magical. I love it there. We were able to show that trailer off, sell some raffle tickets. At the end of the day, we sold a remarkable amount for just a short window of time. Um, that's so important to uh, know that what you're giving is, is completely going to support survivors in one way or another. We're just really excited to be here tonight. Uh, so grateful for the support and generosity of the Sisters on the Fly, and this event is a perfect way to celebrate the partnership. Casting for Recovery is a nonprofit organization that provides free fly fishing retreats for breast cancer survivors. And women are invited to attend uh, regardless of their age or stage during their breast cancer treatment or recovery. I'm a survivor, breast cancer survivor, and uh, I volunteer with Casting for Recovery, and this reminds me every time I go fishing what the sport has done for me. Oh. Casting for Recovery shows women that you can get out into the outdoors and how healing it is and how fly fishing can teach you to steal your mind and, and just focus on you for a few minutes. No matter what's going on in your life, you're only focused in that moment on what you're doing, the cast, the bugs, all of that. It's really, really tranquil. Hi everyone, I want to welcome you to the third annual Cast One for Hope celebration dinner. As sisters have been a big supporter of Casting for Recovery, it was just really great to see some of the participants, some of the survivors that had stories to tell, and it was very inspiring. Erin Club was lucky enough to attend a retreat this year, and when I met her, I just couldn't believe how much we had in common. This has been an amazing opportunity, and to be here with you and with so many people that believe and helping people like me, it's, it's overwhelming. So thank you. 
We were diagnosed with the exact same type of breast cancer, uh, both very, very young with young children at home. And, and you feel on a very deep level for, for that person and you have empathy of what they've gone through because you've, you've walked those, those trails and, and they're not easy. And so with every setback after surgery, I was able to find through fly fishing a connection with other women who've been there with me. I was out there and I caught two hogs and... <laughs> I feel like anytime I'm at anything to do with casting for recovery, something happens where I'm reminded just how important it is to keep giving back at this event and to keep being a part of it and that I want to always do my part to make sure it keeps moving forward. So together we've just raised $600 for casting for recovery. Sisters on the Fly, it, it just makes perfect sense for their relationship to have a lot to do with, with casting for recovery. The two just really do run parallel with what they provide their, their members or their participants. I don't know where the future is going for Sisters on the Fly, but I do know that as long as they have their doors open and membership open, that women will flock to this organization because they want a camaraderie with other ladies, because they want to be outdoors, and because of the fun that we have. We are sisters on the fly, and we have more fun than anyone! The motto of Sisters on the Fly is we have more fun than anyone. It is totally true. You just need to follow us around for a weekend and you will see how much fun we have. Sisters on the Fly is different for each of us. Each and every member joins for their own individual reasons. It's really a fun way to meet women that are from all walks of life, that have all different kinds of interests, but we share this one common interest of loving to be outdoors. It's like the sisterhood of the traveling pants, but it's the sisterhood of the sassy trailers. 